Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about the X-ray tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be stepping into the reporting part of the X-ray, which will be talking about what kind of reports do we get through X-ray in order to populate some reports in Jira and gives the best outcomes to the test management team. Uh, certainly there are a great set of reports which are already pre-available and all we need to do is populate them with certain criteria, just like any other reports which we generate in Jira. At the same time, today we'll be talking about some of the basic reports of listing an entity as a part of the X-ray, but we'll be also looking forward to have some complex uh, set of reports and even populating a dashboard. So let's get started with the reports in X-ray today and have a look on what they can do. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be talking about the various reports which X-Ray offers to an individual tester to populate and share the progress report and status update from time to time. Today we'll be talking about the part one of the reports in X-Ray we'll be, where we'll be talking about some of the important reports and then we'll be continuing ahead in our next tutorial for the remaining one. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be covering test executions list, test plans list, test runs list, test sets list and tests list. In order to talk about the reports and the significance of it as a part of any project, it is very crucial to know what kind of reports your tool can generally populate. Otherwise, it could be very difficult understanding altogether to create the reports manually with help of Excel or maybe utilizing another tool. We always look forward to have a tool, something embedded in terms of returning the data in form of reporting templates and thus the X-ray also offers some specific reports inbuilt within them which can be embedded with Jira and produce the data specific reports. To have a look on the set of reports all you have to do is navigate on the left panel towards the report section. Once you click on this you would find the different sections typically showcasing the various reports which your project might be supporting. Of course, don't forget that in Jira, the reports are supported based on the project template. There are several templates which you find in, in Jira versions. That is, you know, there are different sections, human resource, finance, design, personal, operations, legal, etc. So depending on the template you have selected, you will have the set of reports available for you. So right now we see a few sections here. That is, we have some reports from HL. We have DevOps reports and we have generic Jira reports which are specific just to issue management and then we do have forecast and management and finally the others which are coming from the app. The add-ons can also bring some specific reports for you so please look forward to them no matter which add-on you are talking about. So today we'll be looking up just some simple reports to list uh, the different entities within X-Ray. For example the execution list, the test plan list. Now all these reports are basically going to list but just not going to simply list down the number of items like a filter but also give you certain statistics and give you the freedom to customize it the way you want to list them. For an example, let's start with the first test report which is test execution list. A test execution list is a report where it showcases all the executions performed in the project by default but it can be configured to display the information what you might be interested in. So all you need to do to create this report or populate this particular report is click on this or scroll through the left side and also click on the same report. Both the one would get, take you to the window where you can configure your criteria specific to yourself and populate the report. The very first criteria which you will find here is the information on the filters. Just click on this and you can define what project you want to pull the data from. If you have any specific components to target upon, etc. You can look forward to some saved filter if you're looking forward to uh, have the report only from a specific filter which you, ha you might have saved or anything else. For example, if someone is interested to know that, tell me more about a particular assignee who has done what kind of in executions in the project. So you can just drop down here, look forward to that assignee and you can just populate an execution list of that particular test engineer. So yes, you do get amazing options here or you can look forward to write your own custom JQL as well to bring up the right set of data right here. So 
Of course, the filter is exactly what we are talking about JQL, but here it is about the saved filters. Here it is writing a query directly here. So you don't have to waste your time going and saving a filter and then coming back here to populate the report. All you can do is write your query directly. Anyways, let's go on a simple standard basis because we may not have all the criteria being fulfilled in our very simple dummy project. Let's click on apply here, which remains on the project and you have to click on the button here to generate the report. That means X-Ray does not populate a report directly. It waits for your instructions and according to your instructions, it will generate a report at that moment. So click on generate report and you would find the list of executions which we have done so far in our project. There are some standard columns which you get by default and pagination at the bottom. So you have key, summary, fixed versions if in case you have tagged revision, begin date, end date, environments in which they have been executed. If there are any defects associated with that, write those executions because this is a failure and a failure has a defect associated with this. Now this is something interesting to see that execution reports can also tell you that how the defects have been logged and how many defects have been logged plus this number is a hyper hyperlink and allows you to jump to the defect directly. Also, if you want, you can customize your columns right here. If you would like to have any more columns by adding them, or you would like to remove some of the existing columns, you can look forward to organize them. Also, if you would like to share this report with anyone internally within your organization, type out this link and share it with them. Or go ahead and export this report to CSV format. Going back to the report section again, and looking forward to the next report which we might be really interested in is the test plan list. The test plan list pretty much just like the execution list will list all the plans in our project. Again the criteria would remain pretty much the same that you can define your custom criteria to filter down the set of plans. But with that you also get some analysis and scope window where you could target some specific environments which you might be interested in. Right? Test plan is a major container just like Epic in our X-Ray test management tool. So you can define some test environment criteria and target on a particular environment to see what test plans have been done or what all activities put together including test set, test executions, tests can be brought together in one particular criteria itself. The other criteria pretty much remains the same what we saw in the previous report. Now let's click on generate report which will list me the list of test plans which we have. Now if you see here we got just two test plans for a sample where we have a test plan for the sprint one and test plan for the interface testing. Just to add more team you have your own way of defining the test plans. For an example if you want you can create separate test plans for each sprint which you organize and conduct or you can even create test plans specific to the level. Now it completely depends on your need within the project that would you like to have reports based on the levels of testing or would you like to have the reports based on every single sprint. Whatever your expectations are, you can organize your test plans according to that and it will return you the status with all the statistics. Similar information, you can drop down and define the number of items to be seen in one page. You can define the columns. You can even export and share the same. Going back again, which is uh, looking forward to the next report and the next report which we have is test run list. Don't worry, I'm not skipping anything. I'll be coming back to this in our next tutorial. Click on test run list and this will list all the test runs which you have performed. Now executions are a issue type, but every issue type given that we are talking about test runs, it is different than the execution. An execution can have multiple runs, different iterations and we are talking about them here. So criteria would pretty much be the same, but here it is showcasing me the executions which have been executed, right? So we have got some of the tests here and the test runs report here. You can see the results here right from the report or you can even go back to Jira and look forward to them. Moreover, the test run results are basically showcasing you some critical information. For example, what execution was a part of it, like which execution was it a part of it, the environments in which it was executed, the test plan, categorizing them, the type of test, the status, executed by, versions, revisions, started, finished date, and total time taken to perform them. If there are any defects, 
what is the status on them. If they are open, that will be categorizing it here and the close will be categorized here. That means it's just not a report. It can give you a lot of support to let your management know what exactly the testing is doing and how testing is progressing. You can look forward to the details right from here by clicking on this view details button and quickly see what exactly happened during the execution, which is internally a separate file which is populating all the information during the execution which you captured as a part of this expected result, the defect being logged, and every single step actual results. Alright, so that's a good thing again. And I hope you, it finds really helpful for all the test team to add it up together to share it with the management. So that was about the test runs list. Let's have a look on the next set of lists which we have. So we do have the test set lists. Again, this report will list all the test sets which you have created. Again, test set is something which uh, puts multiple tests together at a time and again can have a scope because a test set can be linked to a story right so it can have a coverage measurement so you can define the environment we can look forward to have some versions or you can even target a particular test plan keeping it right straightforward I'll just go default because we hardly have some data with us and we find one test set here which was created for cycle one unit testing and it had three tests under this and the overall status is to do that means under this test this test was not executed I mean under this test set, these tests were not executed yet. Rest all pretty much remains in line. Finally, talking about one more report which we have in the listing part is the tests list. The One of the common things which people sometimes look forward to is the list of all the tests which you have in your repository. So let's have a look here and what kind of criteria do we have? Is there anything different which we can get? as a very interesting report. Again, as tests have certainly different coverages, you can measure them through the latest uh, in terms of the environment, or you can pull up even the versions, like define a version and pick up like, okay, we're targeting only the um, tests which are created for release version 1.0. So you can define your filters accordingly. You can pull up a test plan for a particular environment and define that. And let's go for looking at whatever we have. So when you don't provide any criteria, it simply means that it simply means that it's gonna list everything what you have. But of course, with the status, with a kind of you know understanding what kind of report it is, what kind of test it is, what's the current status, and what's the testing status of it. So to do, fail, passed, it's all just putting up together, and we have all the you know information lying here. Just to confirm if there's more than ten. Right, you can shift this to 50 and you can see more than 10 at a time. Rest all pretty much remains the same. And I hope this was all we had for the part one of the reports in X-ray. I hope that was helpful and going to add value to your understanding about X-ray and would be helpful in letting your teammates, stakeholders, management know about your status of testing from time to time. We'll be also looking forward to build a dashboard on top of it to give you a better understanding of building a testing dashboard to talk about the status update. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.